Hey everyone, welcome back to Interviews with Plants. I'm Alex and today we're talking to Devil's Club, also known as Oplopanix horridus. So this is a deciduous shrub. It can grow from one to three meters tall and you'll generally find it in moist forests. We found this one beside a little stream here um, and it can grow from low to middle elevations. Let's take a look at some of these key features that will help you identify Devil's Club. And with a name like that, you're probably expecting something pretty horridous. <laughs> so looking at the stem, they generally come out of the ground, ground as a solitary stem, and the stem is covered with spines. So they're kind of yellowish spines, and they're all over the stem from basically the base up to where the leaves come out. So let's take a closer look at the leaves. So the leaves are deciduous. They're quite large. They can be up to 35 centimeters across. They're maple shaped with seven to nine lobes. The margins are toothed and there are sharp spines on both the top of the leaf and on the underside as well, especially on the mid veins here. And even the leaf stalk is covered in spines. If the flowers were present, there would be a pyramidal inflorescence coming out at the terminal end of the stalk here of white flowers and those will turn into red berries later in the season. So that was a little bit about Devil's Club today, also known as Oplopanix hortus. I want to thank you for watching. Let's thank the Devil's Club very gently for its time. <laughs> Thanks for watching these videos. If you like them, please leave a like below and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks. See you in the next one.